family fortune. And tonight's families are the England family from Bradford. And they're playing the Noblet family from Preston, Lancashire. Now, please welcome your host, Les Dennis. And welcome once again to the show where two families battle it out with a chance of winning up to £5,000 and a choice of star prize. Either this top of the range family estate car, air conditioning, ABS, colour coded bumpers and mirrors, and a host of additional features are all included as standard on this two litre luxury estate. Or a fantastic holiday for up to 12 people. This week's Sun International Holiday is at La Pirogue on the west coast of Mauritius, situated near the capital Port Louis, lying between majestic mountains and sparkling sea. All right, let's get on and meet the family. And the first family that we meet tonight on Family Fortunes is the England family. Mark England, how are you, mate? All right, Les. Good to meet you. Where are you from? From Bradford in West Yorkshire. Bradford in West Yorkshire. Know it well. OK, introduce us to the family. This is my wife, Caroline Liz. Hi, Caroline. Hi, Les. My brother-in-law, Arthur. Hi, Arthur. Hi, Les. My brother-in-law, Ian. Hi, Ian. All right, Les. And my All right, there, Ian. <laughs> and my sister-in-law, Eileen. Hi, Eileen. Hi, Les. I have to say, I was watching you dance there at the top, and it was like a little tribute to Morecambe and Wise there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a indeed, bit of the, yes. Hey, a bit of that, hey? Yeah, is that what you were going for? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Now, do you realise the England team... Everybody at home, this could be the first time that we're watching the England team win something. Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't count your chickens. Loads of people sitting at home with flags going, come on, England, come on. Yeah, do you reckon? Hopefully. 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 OK, yeah. that's the England family. Let's go over and meet the, is it the Noblets or the Noblaise? Let's see. Hi, Karen. It sounds really exotic. It's the Noblaise, isn't it? No, it's the Noblet family. It's the Noblet family, OK. <laughs> noblet, Noblet, where are they from? Preston. Like Preston, you. OK. I know it well as well. Karen, introduce us to the family. This is Michael, my husband. Hi, Michael. Hi, Liz. It's Julia, my sister-in-law. Hi, Julia. Hi, Liz. Stephen, my brother-in-law. Hi, Stephen. Hi, Liz. And Dave, my father-in-law. Hi, Dave. Hello, Liz. I tell you what, you just woke our cameraman, <laughs> Philip, then, I bet. You know, he's just, <laughs> we're up, we're up. <laughs> Oh, good. That's fantastic. Like a little Mexican wave with the camera there for us. That's fantastic. You were a Stars in Their Eyes finalist. Karen was actually on a final of Stars in Their Eyes. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> so when you came through those doors and Matthew said, so tonight, Karen, who are you going to be? Who were you? Jacqueline Abbott from the Beautiful South. OK, are you going to do it for us tonight? A little bit of Jacqueline Abbott from the beautiful south. This could be Rotterdam or anywhere, Liverpool or Rome, cos Rotterdam is anywhere, anywhere alone. Anywhere alone. Hey! Excellent! OK, so who are the family going to be tonight? We're going to be the Noblet family. OK, that's the families. We hope that you're ready to play at home as we play Family Fortunes. OK, top six answers in this first game. 100 people surveyed. We've been busy with our survey all week. We asked 100 people to name another word for naughty. Mark. Bad. Bad. We're having a look for bad. It's a top answer. Nowadays, people say that bad's good. It's like a trendy word to say good. Mark, what do you think? You got play or pass? Play. 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 Rejoin your family. No conferring. And, of course, the noblets. Think of some answers in case you get a chance to steal later on. Now then, Caroline, you and Mark met when you were 13, so your childhood sweethearts. That's right, Les, yes. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then when you got married, on the day of the wedding, what happened? Something interesting happened. Oh, dear, yes. Yeah. I, I got a phone call on the morning of the wedding, yeah. just about to set off. Yeah. And the best man rung me and said, Caroline, hold your horses, don't go just yet. Mark's going to be late for the wedding. Oh, he was going to be late? He was going to be mean... late for the wedding. I panicked a little bit and I said, has he changed his mind? <laughs> and he said, no, 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 nothing like that. He's just, uh, he's been uh, doing his um, Tom Jones impression in front of the mirror and he split his trousers. <laughs> so he's got to take them back to the so... higher shop. And... And you just had to go for it? Absolutely. And your trousers split? Oh, yes. That is unusual. <laughs> <laughs> Caroline, what do you think? Uh, Misbehaving. Misbehaving. Misbehaving is answer number five, and four people said it. Arthur of England, he has returned. <laughs> the long lost once and future king, Arthur of England. Have you got a round table at home? I certainly have, Liz, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
OK, I'll have that. Another word for naughty? Yeah, mischievous. Mischievous. Yes, well played. It's the second most popular one. And, Arthur, we have a prize for you. Peter, what have we got for King Arthur? Arthur, you've won a fabulous weekend for two at a top-class hotel in the glorious Lake District. OK? <laughs> He's supposed to have come from up there, isn't he, Carlisle Way? Yeah. Arthur, you go yeah. back and find your roots. I can, yeah. Rest at family. <laughs> rest, at, rest at family. King Arthur said, <laughs> I'm going back to find rest at family. <laughs> Ian, you're a big rugby league fan. I love rugby league. You love it, yeah. don't you? Yeah, With do. a passion. Yes, I do. I'm in very... fact, you teach it, don't you? Um, well, we run a, a junior rugby club back there in Bradford with 250 kids playing for us now. Yeah. Um, sort of dragging them away from football. Kids are always playing football, so... Yeah, so you're uh, looking for good. conversions? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Keep up the good work. What do you think, then? Another word for naughty? Uh, criminal, Les. All right, we're looking for a criminal. <laughs> no, it's not there, so we lose a life on it. Eileen, need your answer. Uh, disobedient, Les. Disobedient. <coughs> Good answer, but not there. So it means the noblets might get a chance to steal. Mark. A swine. <laughs> <laughs> you're not just naughty, you're a bit of a swine. <coughs> so three lives have gone. The noblets get a chance to steal the money that they've worked for. Dave. Terrible. Terrible. A Stephen. Pain, a pain in the neck. A pain in the neck. Julia. Pesky. 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 Nasty. Nasty. Rude. Rude. What do you think? Rude. To steal. Is it rude? <laughs> Third most popular answer. Nine people said it. Well played. You get the £81 in the bank. The missing answers. Number six is wicked. And answer number four on another word for naughty is... <laughs> cheeky. All right, let's play on round two. <laughs> Michael, meet Caroline. Top six answers in this second game. We asked 100 people to name something that comes in sevens. Caroline. Oh, fingers. <laughs> fingers! No, it isn't there, surprisingly. Michael, what do you think? Dwarfs. The seven dwarves. Yes, it's answer number two. Well played. What do you want to do? Yay. Play, rejoin your family, no conferring, and of course the England family. <laughs> Think of some different answers to fingers. Now then, no conferring, you can't confer, folks. Now then, Julia, how did you meet Stephen? Well, we met in a local nightclub, okay. and we sat down chatting all night. End of the night came, slow records came on, Steve says, do you want to dance? So and you both had to stand up? We both stood up. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just thinking that the day after by a girl from work as a ballet dancer, because she said I looked like I was doing a pirouette. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he looked like. Yeah. Hold on. So somebody had to put you up to it? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. And you've been together ever since? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. What do you think then, Julia? Um, seven Wonders of the World. The Seven Wonders of the World. Yay. Yes, it's answer number four. We get a prize for you as well. Peter, what have we got for Julia? Don't make too much of a drama of this, lovey. You've won a theatre weekend for two in Stratford-upon-Avon. Okay. <laughs> Stephen, what do you think? Seven Deadly Sins. We're looking for the Seven Deadly Sins. <laughs> no, good one, Ooh. but not there. Just shows you, doesn't it? I thought that was going to be there when you said it. Dave. Seven Colours of the Rainbow. The seven colours of the rainbow are the seven. <laughs> Two lives have gone. The Englands might get a chance to steal. Karen. Seven members of a basketball team. <laughs> I don't know if it's seven, <laughs> but it's worth a try. It's worth a try, it's worth a try isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to hear a noise. <laughs> I am, and we go over to the England family. Back in line. Eileen. Days of the week, Les. Seven days of the week. When do you think of that one? Ian. Rugby sevens, Les. It has to be. Rugby sevens. Arthur. If you've got seven fingers, I've got seven toes, Les. Seven toes. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> uh, Caroline. Brides for brothers. Brides and brothers, OK. Brides for brothers. For brothers. Brothers. Can you just tell us why you said fingers? I don't know, Les. It just, just came to you. <laughs> so, yeah. It just came to you. Mark. I'm never uh, good at Days of the week, Les. We're looking forward to steal. Days of the week. Well done. The missing answers, number six. The magnificent seven. Answer number five is the seven seas. The sailors sail the seven seas. And answer number three on something that comes in sevens is the seven-year itch. OK, let's play on round three. Julia and Arthur.
OK, top six answers in this third game. We asked 100 people to name, apart from flogging, a medieval form of punishment. Uh, Arthur. The rack. The rack. Can you hear me at the rack? <laughs> it's the second most popular answer. Julia, what do you think? Um, execution. Execution is a popular form of punishment. That's going a bit trusty. <laughs> Yeah, I love that. I love that. <laughs> yeah, let's go for execution. <laughs> no, so you have control of the board. Arthur, what are we going to do? Play. 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 Rejoin, no conferring. So we come to you, Ian. Of course, the noblets have to think of some answers. What do you think? Uh, they also dip witches in them chairs, didn't they, Des? Uh, Les, Fred, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Call me whatever you like, mate. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, the ducking chair, Les. The ducking stool. Yes, well played. We give you a prize. Peter. Play the very latest films on the very latest technology with this fabulous DVD player. OK. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well done, mate. Eileen, what do you think? Uh, whipping, Les. We're looking for whipping. <laughs> no, so we lose a life on it. What do you think, Mark? Uh, stocks, Les. Stocks, yeah. Especially if you invested in a dot-com company, you'd be really suffering. <laughs> We're looking for stocks. It's a top answer. Well played, Mark. You get a prize as well. Peter, what have we got to give Mark? Well, now you can have that fabulous shed you always wanted, Mark, with this garden voucher to the value of £350. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Exactly you right. came on this show and you wanted a shed. You want to see my shed at home, Liz? What's wrong with it? It's uh, knackered. <laughs> it's knackered. <laughs> OK, so we've given you the voucher to go and buy a new one. Thank you very much. All right, Caroline. Uh, stoning. Stoning. OK, stoning. <laughs> Two lives have gone. It was a good answer, but it isn't there. The noblets might get a chance to steal. Uh, Arthur, like you should know about this, King Arthur. <laughs> uh, Chinese torture, Liz. Like uh, dripping water. They used to drip water on people. Did they? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm open to I'm open to. <laughs> Dripping water. <laughs> Three lives have gone. The noblets get a chance if they can get back in line to give me some answers, Dave. Hanging, drawing and quartering. Hang, drawing and quartering. Just hanging. Just hanging. <laughs> just, just plain hanging. Um, Julia. Cat of nine tails. Cat of nine tails. Bur Michael. Birchin. Birchin. Karen. Chop your hand off. Chop your hand off. <laughs> All seven it? fingers. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna go with? Birchin. We're looking for, to steal the money, Birchin. <laughs> no, so it means the England family. You have the money in the bank, the missing answer is number six. Steak. Answer number five is... Thumbscrew. And answer number four, on apart from flogging, name a medieval form of punishment is... The Iron Maiden. So, at the halfway stage of the game, the Noblets have £81 in the bank and the England family have £120. It's time for us to take a break now. In a couple of minutes, one of our families will play for double money and big money and the chance to win £5,000 on either the car or the holiday. We'll see you then. Play double money. <laughs> okay, Stephen. Meet Ian. Steve. Double money means just that. All the answers revealed are worth twice the price they were before the break. We asked 100 people top five answers in this first game to name a reason for kneeling. <laughs> Ian. Church, Les. When you go to church, <laughs> to pray is the top answer. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We paid for that top answer and we got it. What are you going to do? Play, man. Play, rejoin your families. No conferring for you. And, of course, the noblets think of some answers. Eileen. Um, Touch the carpet. <laughs> no, so we lose a life on it. Mark. Um, to be beheaded. <laughs> <laughs> you kneel to be beheaded. <laughs> Two lives have gone. The noblets might steal. Caroline, I can't wait for this. To put a video in. Neil, to put a video in. <laughs> right, a chance for the noblets to get back in the game and they can find one of these answers. Dave? Um, tying your shoelaces. To tie your shoelaces? Proposing, Les. Proposing. Um, Julia? Gardening. Gardening. Looking for your contact lens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. What are they laughing at? Karen, a few answers there. Got one of your own? Finding your contact <laughs> lens. <laughs> <laughs> Was that yours, Lynn? Yeah. What are you going to go with? Gardening, Les. OK. Yes, well, 
you're in the lead suddenly. The missing answers. Number five is <laughs> you kneel because there's nowhere to sit. How many people said that? Three people said it, and we doubled it up to six for double money. The missing answer number three is to polish the floor, not clean the carpet, but to polish the floor. And answer number two on the reason for kneeling is to propose. I think you said that, Stephen, yeah. but you only do that because you're in an arm lock. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play on round two. OK, Dave, meet Eileen. Oh, um, Top four answers. We asked 100 people to name a well-known Les. Dennis. What? Who? Les Dennis. Les Dennis. I never thought of that. I did not. <laughs> Let's see if I'm there. A well-known Les. I'm the top one. Yeah. Excellent. What are you going to do? Yeah. 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 Rejoin yeah. no conferring. So we come to you, Karen. What do you think? A well-known Les. Les Dawson. Whoa. Les Dawson. Wasn't he just brilliant? Yeah. He was an amazing guy. Nice guy as well as a brilliant comedian. Michael, what do you think? Well, he's a kind of Les, um, Leslie Crowder. We're looking for Leslie Crowder. No, he isn't there. He was a great guy as well. Julia. Uh, Les Ferdinand. Julia thinks the footballer Les Ferdinand. <laughs> Two lives have gone. Good answer, but not there, so the Englands might nick it. Stephen. Les McEwen from the base of Tirolers. Les McEwen. <laughs> no, so we have a chance for the Englands family to get the money. Eileen. Uh, Les Battersby from Les Battersby. Ian. Uh, let's go for a pint, Les. <laughs> Let's go for a pint. Let's not bother with them until let's go for a pint. Arthur. No wrestler, Les Kellett. Les Kellett. Yeah. Caroline. Don't know Les. Don't know Les. <laughs> All right. Mark. Les Avenue. Les Avenue. <laughs> Which one are you going to go with? Les Battersby. To stay in the game, Les Battersby. Yes! Well played, Mark. Well saved. Proved to be a difficult question, didn't it? Answer number four, a well-known Les is... Les Patterson. Let's play on round three. <laughs> okay, back out again, Karen and Mark. <laughs> Top three answers. We asked 100 people to name a household chore that's easier today than 50 years ago. Mark. Hoovering. Hoovering. Yes, but there's a top one, Karen. Washing. Washing. Top answer. What are you going to do? Yeah, yeah, one yeah, answer yeah. to find. Yeah. So go back to your team and no conferring. You've got to be really strict on this. Michael. Drying your clothes. Drying your clothes? <laughs> no. So, Julia, what do you think? Ironing them. All right, Julia, if ironing is that missing answer, you're playing big money. Ironing. <laughs> yes! Yeah! Yeah! Well, let's go to the big money. Fantastic. Well done. That was a close contest, Mark, and you're a smashing family. You're going back to Bradford with a Lake District break, a DVD player, £350 worth of garden vouchers, and £296. You're fantastic. The England Thank family! You. Karen, well done. <laughs> Is it going to be the car or the uh, Mauritius holiday? The car. Okay, who's going to play? Michael and Julia. Michael and Julia, join me at the mic. <laughs> hey, Julia, you're going to play first. Michael, go and put the headset on. I'll call you back. I'm going to ask you five questions. You have 15 seconds to answer. The time doesn't begin until I finish asking the first question. Is that clear? Good luck. 15 seconds on the clock, please. Name something that is bought in bottles. Water. Any metal. Iron. Document you could use to prove your age. A uh, birth certificate. A summer fruit. Strawberry. A shade of red. Crimson. OK, well played. <laughs> Put your arm around me. You make me look tall. <laughs> you make everyone look tall. <laughs> Name something that is bought in bottles, you said. Water, our survey said. Four people said water. Any metal, you said. Iron, our survey said. 25, that's a bit better. A document you could use to prove your age. You said. Birth certificate, our survey said. 31, we got 60. Steady, we're going steadily. A summer fruit, you said. Strawberry, our survey said. There we go, that's a better top answer. We threw the halfway barrier, we've got 101. A shade of red, you said. Crimson, our survey said. <laughs> 32, 133, well played. Rejoin your family, we'll clear the board and we'll bring Michael back. <laughs> Welcome back, Michael. Julie, 
You did well. She got 133 and two top answers. 67 will get you the £5,000, and those three missing top answers will get you the car, OK? 20 seconds to answer the same five questions. If you duplicate any of the answers we've had, you'll hear the sound, and I'll ask you for another. Can we remind the viewers at home of the answers we had from Julia? And can I have 20 seconds on the clock, please? Good luck. Name something that is bought in bottles. Milk. Any metal? Iron. Another? Aluminium. A document you could use to prove your age? Passport. A summer fruit? An orange. A shade of red? Crimson. Another? Uh, purple. OK. All right. Let's see how we did. We've got 133. We need our first three answers to be top answers and to flash to put us online for the car. First question, something that is bought in bottles. You said <laughs> milk. Our survey, we need this to flash, said... 14 people said milk, it's not a top answer. We can't get the car, but we can go on and look for the £5,000. The top answer there was beer and was worth 35 points. Sure got that. Bottles of beer, OK. The next question, any metal, you said aluminium. Our survey said 14. The top answer there was gold and was worth 27. A document you could use to prove your age was the next question. You said passport. Our survey said... 15. We now need 24. The top answer there was driving license and was worth 41, and you would have the £5,000 now. So, two questions to answer. A summer fruit. You said orange. Is it a summer fruit? Our survey said nothing for orange. We still need 24 from our last answer. A shade of red. You said it's got to be worth 24 or more. You said purple. Our survey said... Nothing for purple. We'd already have the top answer, crimson. You've got 176. We're going to double it. We add it to the money that you've already got, which gives you a novel at family fortune of £783 plus the uh, staff and break. Well done, Michael. Come and join us. Thanks for watching. Bye. If you missed the action last night, then make a date tomorrow with the home of TNA here in the UK. Challenge. Another chance to see this week's TNA Impact Wrestling tomorrow night at 10 with the fallout from Victory Road.